Alright ladies and gentlemen, believe it or not, this is again another video on the Logitech Brio 4K and image quality. Uh, this video not only applies for that Brio camera, you could use these same tips on most of the webcams you can get on the market and definitely on the Logitech line of cameras. So. Before further ado, let's continue here on my desktop presentation. So this is going to be a demo on OBS. This video is recorded at 1080 points, 30 frames per second. Why? Because for desktop demos, 30 frames per second is more than enough. Also for showing motion on a webcam image, 30 frames per second is also more than enough. However, when you will be streaming games with Quite some action like first person shooters you will want to download uh, not to download you will do downgrade your resolution in order to upgrade your frames per second to 60 at least uh, actually 60 at most because most of the streaming services only support 60 frames per second but you will need that nevertheless the webcam settings will not change your webcam can output 60 frames per second, however you will not need this for your own human image, which is actually a motion picture, not a video game. The motion that you will show requires no more than 30 frames per second because you will want some amount of blur to be recorded by the camera, which is not possible when you boost the speed much too high. So let's have a look where we change these settings. You look at the properties of your camera here, then you go to configure video. Why do I not use the built-in uh, Logitech software? We can actually, let me take it up. Uh, I have the camera gaming, uh, the Logitech gaming software application where I can change my mouse and uh, all my webcams. You click on the cam, and then you can have your video settings. It's not showing it because it's in use. So this image is not shown yet because it's in use by uh, OBS. And then you go to video settings and you can do everything by default to start off. That's a good starting point. And then you can mess around with the stuff, which we will do more finely grained in the configure video settings, which brings up this Windows standard dialog. That's what you have with the Brio, with the regular Logitech. If you install the softwares, you may have a Logitech custom interface. But let's stick to this one to start with. On the other interface, the naming of the things we will want to change will be the same anyways. So first of all, keep brightness and contrast out of the box. You can mess around with these uh, in more in detail in OBS with some filters. That's a topic for a different video. Here we will focus on the image quality. Now, one thing you have to know, and other streamers will tell you the same thing, for the best image quality, no matter which camera you use, there is no miracle solution with the software settings. You need a lot of light. Currently I'm using an LCD, uh, not LCD, a LED panel. Uh, which is happens to be a ring light, it doesn't have to be a ring light. I'm not putting my camera inside the ring light, so the effect is exactly the same as if it would be a flat panel of anything other than a ring light. Lots of light. You can buy either a ring light or a panel, which costs some kind of amount of money. If you want to do it yourself, if you want to save on the box, you can uh, get some different light bulbs at Walmart, make yourself some kind of panel where you can screw different light bulbs on it to have just a lot of power so you can just light yourself pretty well. That is very important because the amount of light that you get will influence the first parameter I'm going to talk about which is the gain. The gain is the applied, uh, actually the brightness, it's, it's similar to brightness. Gain is a brightness setting that the camera will apply to the image it recorded in its sensor. So the more gain, the lighter, the less gain, the darker. I have set it up so that my lighting conditions 
are in harmony with this gain setting so that my image clarity looks correct like this. The next setting that you will want to change has nothing to do with how clear or dark you want your image. The exposure setting has everything to do with how long it will take each frame. And that will influence the following thing, the blurring effect or flickering effect that you have in your motion. When I move my hands like this, there is a certain amount of blur. This is exactly the amount of blur that I want to integrate in my motion when I move very quickly. When I normally move my head, there is no more blur that can be seen because my head movement can't be very fast if I don't want to snap my own neck, for instance. My hands movement, if I move slowly, it's still going to be clear, but as soon as I want to do something like this, there is a blur in it. And I want this amount of blur, not more. If you leave your camera on default, out of the box, automatic exposure settings, and low light compensation on, turn that one off for sure. Without decent light, it will increase the exposure, which will make it, of course, clear as well, much more clear, but the effect will be this. Way too much blur, and you can't follow the hand. You want to have just enough amount of blur so that the image is not flickering. The way your brain uh, views the image, analyzes the image, processes the image, it requires a minimum amount of blur. This is the same thing that you will see in a motion picture in the theaters. When you look at whatever movie, Star Wars, uh, Love Story, whatever, this is recorded, well now it's all digital, but they do the same thing, the same equivalent thing in the digital uh, era with their digital cameras as they did in film before. Every frame is captured with a certain speed, and that speed would usually be a sixtieth of a second, or a fiftieth of a second, more or less, which gives a certain amount of blur in rapid motion picture. If you increase the speed way too much it's going to darken the image of course but if i do it like this of course i'm completely black but when i move my hand it's it's no longer blurry but it's flickering and the flickering is worse for your eyes than the excess of blur so if you have to choose between the two it's better to have a little bit too much blur than a little bit too much flickering because the flickering for your views will be tiresome for the eyes, tiresome for the concentration of your brain, which processes the images, and it doesn't look right anyways. And this brings us to the topic of the frame rate. So for this exact amount of blur and this exposure, your camera doesn't need to process more than 30 frames per second. Actually, it will do fine with 24 frames per second. I just leave it on 30 frames per second because that's in sync with my streaming settings. I'm recording this video in 30 frames per second. When I'm streaming, I'm streaming at 60 frames per second. The application has an easier job dividing the amount of frames from the webcam or spreading them out over 60 frames when it actually matches. So it's a multiple of the frame, setting, frame rate settings of the camera. That's why I leave it at 30 instead of 24. Um, but if it would be just a plain video, uh, like this demo, I could record the whole thing at 24 frames per second. The demo as well as the video and the camera settings would be the same thing, same quality. So the image quality, once you have your exposure setting properly set, then you change the gain according to your light so that you have the correct brightness on your overall image. The higher the gain, the more it will have to increase the brightness on low light capturing on the sensor of the camera, which will increase graininess, remove sharpness, and bring up all sorts of other artifacts. So you don't want to do that. You want to have lots of light, either you're next to a window when it's daytime when you record or when you stream. If you're a nighttime streamer anyways, you will need artificial light. Put a lot of it, strong light not too strong in such a fashion that you wouldn't be able to see the game when you play a game with a dark setting 
like I'm I'm streaming Left 4 Dead. It's it's many maps, many of these these scenes are in a very dark setting. So I want to be able to view the image myself. So that panel here is not at full power. Nevertheless, it's um, that camera has a good enough quality to deliver uh, a clear image with this amount of light, and that's the perfect balance that you will have to find yourself as well in your own setting. But again, make sure that exposure is set according to good blur not excessive blur but a good clear image in your own motion when you move your hands when you move your head when you move whatever you record with the camera and then you change the gain to have the correct setting of exposure well not really exposure because gain is not exposure but the correct uh clearly uh correct clarity on the final image and that's the only thing you have to do. So, thanks for watching. I hope this helped you out having a better image quality. This doesn't only apply on the Logitech Brio, but also on the other Logitech cameras and uh, whatever other webcam you have. If you find a gain setting and an exposure setting, these are the things you want to change to have the perfect image clarity and the correct amount of motion blur so that it looks natural when people are looking at your video. Take care. Bye-bye.